when I think about this word, uh, first I would want to change it to uh, 21st century statesperson. A statesman or a stateswoman, because I always include woman in that word. It should be a statesperson. That's critically important. Going forward, some ingredients from the past will remain constant. Have a conscience, uh, let principle be your guide, have integrity, and, and do those things under all circumstances. It's not situational, right? I think that definition it, by default is just changing, right? We have uh, YouTube, we have Facebook, we've got Twitter, we have all these modalities of communication. And I feel like people are really looking for um, authenticity. So the reason I say that is that these are dynamic and complex times and our communities demand and deserve authentic political leaders. We know that we're going to face difficult things in our lives. And when we need a state's person, we need to be able to trust them, even though the way may not be clear. And a new leader for the 21st century will be somebody who knows how to be a service leader, to bridge the gap between politics, and to really serve our communities and businesses in the state. But it's a person who also understands or knows how to learn about the complexity of Oregon's communities. And that truly honors the humanity of those communities. Is someone who realizes that the problems we face are really, like they're bigger than politics and the solutions will require us to put politics aside to make sure that they happen. It's not about politics or party. It's about working for constituents, the state and the nation, a statement has a vision and the ability to unite diverse interests under common principles. Is someone who really understands who they serve and they know that they are coming into a position that they bring their own values and ideas to the position, but their job is to represent a diverse set of constituents. Really dig into what are ways that communities know that they need support to be moving forward and create that path in a very collaborative way. Because you cannot know all sides of an issue, but when leaders work hard to understand the perspectives before making decisions, that, that really reflects a state's person to me. Someone who can really um, be able to uh, be inclusive, be a convener, be a great listener, and then be able to take those needs and turn them into great policies and practices I think it's really what we need for the 21st century. So we're going to really need somebody who's listening, who's engaging others, who's building bridges, setting aside politics, and moving us forward. Is someone who can lead with their head and their heart. We need leaders who can bring all of their experiences to their leadership so they can connect with all of their different constituents from the different walks of life. They're not afraid to solicit insight from friends as well as enemies or competitors, supporters or naysayers. Someone who's not afraid to contradict themselves after learning more information about an issue. But I think there's several things that a state's person should consider. First and foremost, they act with unwavering and uncompromising ethics, values, and principles. Uh, speak truth to power, speak truth to the people, um, are transparent in their work, and are brave, and will really stand in the breach and on the right side of history uh, in taking the tough decisions, the tough votes, or being a voice uh, in the storm when that's necessary. And so that statesman must understand that we are still here to serve the people, but we have to show up and take action in ways that we've never been called to before. And so we are here to innovate. We are here to challenge. But most importantly, we are here to deliver. We're here to ensure that we go forward instead of going backwards.